Greetings, Warriors of the Ring. My name is Strider656, and I'm so thrilled to welcome you back for yet another adventure through Middle Earth. In this series, I'll be playing random ladder matches on Discord and showing you War of the Ring games from my perspective by only viewing my cards and sharing with you my thoughts and in-game reactions while trying to keep the end result a mystery. If the player is aware that I'm making a video as I ask permission both before and after playing, hope that you enjoy this video. I encourage you to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, today's adventure features Hybris. Hybris I actually played earlier. I played in 2022. I was going through my old logs. Uh, but this is my first time doing a video on him. So, um, as always, I introduce my play players to the community. Uh, so, how did you find War of the Ring? Hybris says my best friend bought it after searching. We played a few times. Fell in love with it. How did you find the Discord? Ira's YouTube channel. Uh, how long have you played? I think around one year. Uh, a little longer because I, I played in 2022. Interesting facts about you as a player. Not much. My game style has been affected a lot by Romp Steel. Interesting. It goes by he, him. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I am playing... He wanted to uh, bid. I said I want to bid. I'm, just, I'm on my losing streak. I mentioned to him uh, that I... And he's actually rated higher than me. Uh, so he picks... Um, Shadow. And I'm free. So let's view my hand and see what happens here. There we go. View hand. That's why. Okay. I, I actually preset the video so that you could see the turns better. And then I, I know I'm redoing everything because I forgot to view the hand. Okay. So I have Faramir's Rangers and Gwahir Windlord. Uh, Faramir I can play. Gwahir, maybe. I can get uh, Aragorn. Uh, he allocates no ice. Rolls one. Rolls two. And I have a pretty good roll. Um, so I pass. He brings Isengard down. Uh, I send him with the Fellowship on two ice. See what happens. Oh, nice. So it's 1-1. One, one. Safe. I say nice. Need that roll for my confusions. He says, very safe. Uh, he brings Sauron to war now. I move again. And this time he rolls. <laughs> Get ready for it. You can't make this stuff up. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, so I'm like, okay. Um, he's getting up there. Next one's 3-3. Three, three. All right. And he says, now I do a magic trick to annoy you and uh, change the luck. So I laugh, but we just have a good time. Uh, the orcs dunk the ring in Mount Doom. And uh, the guy from North Dunland goes to Moria. I move the elves down because I see he's going this way. He moves uh, towards Moranin. And I decide to do the, the blocks. I mean, I could have brought the elves down again. Could have brought Gondor down. I don't know which way he's going. But it's never a bad idea to do this, especially because Sauron's at war. And I might, know, might not roll hybrid next turn. All right. And he decides to bring Saruman as his last action. Going to turn two, I have Swords and Eriador and File of Galadriel. Fellowship's okay. Uh, he allocates one, rolls one more. Uh, and I roll the same roll except I have a Palantir. No muster. He moves out and towards Lorien. I pass. He moves uh, right outside Lorien and up. The guys, they're doing the, the do march. I think... Contemplating doing um, Swords and Eriador or Filed Galadriel. I'm thinking about this here for a while because I think I could draw into a power too great. My best shot at that is Swords and Eriador because I can get two. Um, but I was thinking before the turn started that I wanted to play Filed Galadriel because that's one of the best character or best tiles in the games. You think for a while and I weigh the options and I decide to go with File of Galadriel. And I draw theirs other way. Ugh, it's too early for that card. Condenses out um, here and moves up with the Fellowship. Uh, I say 3-3. Three, three. He says, if I hit and draw an I, I forgive everything in this game. He does hit, and it's a 2. So that's pretty good for me. I'm feeling pretty good so far. He draws a strategy card. I move the Fellowship again. This time he does roll a 5-5. Five, five. He skips 3-3. Three, three. He goes straight to 5-5, five, five, and there's the I. I take the Corruption. 
I go straight through Moria, draw a two. I ran in Pippin. And I put him in um, Lorien. Not bad. Um, he decides to condense. Uh, so he keep going straight up. Now he's outside of the dew line. Farharad is moving out. Uh, about to threaten the um, Corsairs. I decided to flip the Fellowship. I could have moved the Elves down one. But that doesn't really do much. Because he could bring them to war, I guess. And then get the Witch King easier. I think that might have been a mistake. Uh, he plays Swarm of Bats on me. I don't card. Uh, and he destroys that troop. Uh, but I'm happy to use three sixes on that. All right, here we go. Turn uh, three. I threw day and night there and back again. I'll ship okay. I could do a military victory. I'm looking at it. I see, but the elves are not at war. Um, but he needs to not roll musters if I want to do that. And there we go. Really good rolls. So far, so good. I mean, I would like him to roll more eyes. So I'm with the Fellowship first, um, because he's not going to get rid of my Will of the West. And he gets 1-4, then 5-6. He does hit on the reroll. Another one reveal. I take the Corruption. He puts Lorraine under siege. I decide to pass. He attacks Will's on Realm. And the reason I'm passing is because I'm looking at the uh, I'm looking at the, the the dice he has rolled, and I don't see any characters or palantirs. But anyway, um, I I'm forgetting this is an adventure, so um, we did lose Gandalf and Moria at the traditional time, um, and then we just got super corrupted. And uh, who is this? I can't even tell who it is. Let's click on him. I think it's Mary. No, Pippin. Pippin decided to go visit um, Lorien to see the elves. Uh, so now the elves are at war. I flip the fellowship. I'm just going to move him. He brings the Witch King into Woodland Realm. That flips everybody. Move the fellowship again. There's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, he's now way for the 4-4s. Four, four, so not this turn. Uh, he attacks Woodland Realm. Uh, now I'm going to play, he's playing a strategy card. I'm debating Confusion, um, Shield Wall, or I'm changing his position. I play Confusion. He cancels it. Oh, look at, he rolled two ones. And he got two sixes on the reroll. I'm not happy about that. This is where I start getting enraged. One hit back. Uh, he presses and draws. And no card, he gets a six, and I get a hit. So I pass. He attacks Dale now, no card. He gets his hit. Um, I do not. But I do hit it back. I hit back. At least I'm hitting back. He's going to be able to get Airborne under siege. I bring Gan up the white in. Um, and, but he doesn't go after Airborne. I'm surprised by this. I would have doubted an Airborne. Just to force me. Um, and uh, he decides to just move the guys from um, near Haran to Umbar. And north south is the east room. So uh, the elves are not doing too hot. And Dale, he should be at three victory points. He's at two. So I draw. We prove the swifter. King Brandsman. Oh, that hurts. King Brandsman. Just too late. Classic, classic War of the Ring. I do uh, decide to declare into Western Battlelands. I could do um, East of Net. The reason I don't is because I'm scared of Stormcrow. I shouldn't really care, but I decided to go East of Net anyway because it's better. This is a better path. All right, what did I get rid of? I dismissed it because I was too busy debating the... Um, I got whatever we proved the Swifter. Should got rid of Qua here. He only rolls uh, two eyes. I roll lots of movement. So at least I can possibly get to um, Mordor. I move and he hits. It's a zero reveal. Slows me down. Southern Easterlings are moving down towards war. With the Fellowship. I'm just going to go uh, Ring Rush. They're at war with the Fellowship. Safe. Text Iron Hills, no card. 
Uh, I'm probably going to play FJ's position here. And look at that. Oh, it doesn't work. The reroll um, didn't help. And uh, he thinks he's zero at first, but I'm not going to be cheap. It does work. It brings the dwarves down. Fellowship again. I'm hit. It's a two reveal. I ran him into Strider. That's okay, because at least I have a character showing. Um, I mean, I'm not too happy about that, but it is what it is. Uh, that's going to slow me down big time. Let's look at the hunt pool out of curiosity. Um, a lot of non-reveals. I have five left, and I have five reveals. So I guess I had over 50% chance of drawing a reveal tile, but it just hurts. He puts Airborne under siege. I flip the Fellowship. Now I can go back to back. Shadow lengthens. One, two. And um, these guys go to Dale. Jack's Erebor. Let's see what I have for cards here. Maybe I can hold them off. I have two shield walls and a heroic death I could use. Play King Brand's men. He gets three minus one. I get two. So we both get the same. He presses and draws. I'm going to probably put my other shield wall here. He plays Great Host. He gets two for a nice shield wall for me. That'll help me survive for like a second longer. Do one back, but he can't do anything. Both my shield walls worked. Um, brutal game, though. It's brutal for me. Um, because I need to be in Mordor. He's going very fast. Because this is going to be taken over very soon. I've only got one guy left. Unless I draw into like... Um, I can't think of the name of the card. Dane's Ironfoot Guard. Um, or Power Too Great would also help. All right, talk for a little bit. Now I play the Corsairs of Umbar. And that makes my... But, but now I'm looking, I could get a military victory. If I go Umbar, I go down here to Moria. It's possible. Horn of Gondor, red arrows drawn. Uh, here we go. Uh, he uh, allocates one, rolls one more. I roll lots of movement and will of the west. I need musters here, um, so I could possibly like muster the north up in Carrick. I'll figure something out to do. So I decided to just draw a strategy card because I need help with my defense. Tax airborne, no card. He gets a six. I do, and I get a hit back. At least I'm hitting back. Move the fellowship. Um, I missed. He moves all of his leadership onto um, Dolamroth. So uh, those three guys in Dolamroth are not too happy right now. They're looking outside. They just see a horde. G uh, Gondor has done nothing so far. They're just sitting around. The dew line is taken. It's going really well for the shadow. Move the fellowship uh, an extra time. And now I'm definitely safe from. Um, Cruel weather. Draw a strategy card. I pass. He plays Olagai on um, Lorien. I pass. Text Dol Amroth. I'm seeing a character card. Um, I'm probably going to expect... Um, any any of the cards. They're all good. I play Confusion against it, though. He hits himself once. And look at I want you to look at that reroll. Um, yeah, so those are four hits. Um, so I do, uh, one back to him. I don't think he did his damage. Uh, I play Gua here to have Gandalf try to hold off, um, Lorien. Because I'm feeling that this is the only hope I have, is if he can defend and help out. Um, because I know that's raising his last points. It's easy. Pilar gear, right? And Lorien. He's starting to move out towards it. I think. And I decide to um, muster an elite in Minas Tirith. Because I can't really defend Pilar gear. I could have mustered an elite here and two elites. But I don't think that would hold off against this force. He decides to muster a regular and Jill Goldor and a regular Mori to prevent the military victory. All right, I, got, I will go alone at power too great. And here we go. 
Fellowship okay. Power 2 great's good. Um, but he does have a lot of cards in here. There's a chance I can hold him off. And he rolls five eyes. And I roll um, this roll. So I play Power 2 great right away. He's actually full art here. No card. I could scout here. Uh, then I could move into um, Umbar with my Will of the West. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't do it. Instead, I go to Osgiliath. I decide to uh, move the Fellowship in Mordor. Um, let's see what I draw. A three. That takes Legolas out. He chose me down through his folly and, and uh, gets rid of another card. You don't have to show me that, but thank you. With the fellowship again. I draw an eye this time. That's a, I think that's a six reveal. So Gilly will take two off. This is a four reveal. Now Boromir's the guide. He could kill me with, um, if he has a candle of corpses in hand. Or, um, Isildur's Bane. I give a ring to, um... Oh, he, did he pass? No, he moved the Witch King over to Lorien to do his assault. Now he attacks Lorien. I, sh I shine with Gandalf. And now that I see it's a strategy card, um, I'm probably going to play Daring Defiance. No Mighty Attack. Or no, Brave Stand. Brave Stand. He's only rolls three. He gets zero. And I get three back. Good for me. There's a chance now. Um, because I plan to play Horn of Gondor next. And then try to dunk the ring next turn. Uh, he draws a strategy card. Now I play Mighty Attack on him. He plays Silver of Orthanc. He only gets one. And I get one. Because I couldn't roll with, um, because Gandalf's giving his leadership up, so Pippin couldn't roll his leadership roll. He presses. I contemplate playing Heroic Death here, because it could save me a turn, but I need the healing. He plays Words of Power, which means he can roll all of his dice. Um, he says Gandhi is canceled, and he gets four sixes. This is kind of revenge. For this is Poo Daddy's Revenge. That's what I'm going to call this video, I think. Um, because this is how the game ended uh, that we played in the other tournament. Where I had Gandalf purposely in there to defend. So this is a brutal game. A turn six military victory for him. Um, really, really well done. Good job. Very efficient. Uh, let me know what you think I could have done better. I mean, I could have looked at a military here, but I would have lost, right? Um, because he would have gotten his military victory first. So, yeah, insane game. I mean, I could have saved the heroic death to save to um and used it here. Even if I had if I had Pippin die, it would have protected um, Lorien for another turn. So that's brutal. So brutal game. I just wanted to share it with you guys so you could see. Uh, you can also see that I'm not infallible because I do I do like to post videos where I win. Not gonna lie, I love winning videos, but it's great to just share every type of game. You never know what happens. I'm going to show you the stats of this game. I was plus on characters, as you can see. I was even everything else, minus on hybrids and musters. Uh, he was plus on eyes, apparently, probably from that last turn, and plus on army. And uh, the notable things to notice are the plus twos on sixes and fives. Minus six on ones. Look at me, I was minus two. But it, de it, it depends on the timing of these rolls. So that was the game. Thank you, Hybris, for playing. I encourage everyone who's watching this video to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And um, please consider finding me uh, and seeking an adventure yourself um, on the Discord, which I'm going to link in the description of this video. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.